What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the Ocular Max Navigant, their version of a masterpiece Streetwise. So I've been pretty excited for this guy, thanks to the Chosen Prime for sending this out. And this I saw originally at TFCon, I think over a year ago, and it looked really good then, so I'm excited that we finally got it. I'm glad that they changed out the glass. This was a painted black and they changed it to the translucent, so that's really nice. There's a few things you need to do right out of box. I showed it in my unboxing. I'm going to explain it again here. Number one, these arms will be flipped like this. You want the wheel to the back, so it looks like that. Number two, there's a bunch of things you need to do inside the chest here. And the sequence of getting this apart is uh, pretty specific. So you're going to open this up, I need to fold this down, and come to the back here. And we're going to lift up these arms. And that kind of locks everything together. And then you can take this backpack piece out. This is the part that's tabbed in very securely. And then here, these pieces will be folded down like this. So you can rotate them up. And the key piece is this right here. These are folded downwards. These need to be opened up and allowed to fit into the side of the arms. After you do all that, then everything will fit together properly. If you don't do that, you won't get these app pieces all the way in like that. It should be basically right in the middle on both sides. And then you can take these and fold these down so that those pieces kind of tab into the side. But once you do that, he is nice and solid. You can see there's really no caps on the back. Nothing on the side. If you lift up the arm, you do see a little bit through here. But overall, it's pretty, pretty filled out. And then the front, of course, looks really good. Well, let's take a look at the G1 cartoon there. And I think they did a pretty good job at recreating and representing this character. As far as paint on this guy, you have paint here on the head, the red, the metallic blue for the eyes, the black here for the windows that aren't translucent, so the legs down here on the sides of the chest. And then in vehicle mode, we'll see more, but there is quite a bit of paint detail in the vehicle mode. Uh, but that's really it. There's not a lot of paint detail on this guy. He is somewhat of a, you know, plain gray plastic. And that does represent the character pretty well. Let's go over his articulation. The head is on an interesting joint here. So it gets forward and backward to here, but there's a pin. So if you push that pin down, you can get the head all the way up. So pretty much full movement there. Rotates around. Uh, you get a little bit of side to side too, just due to the way it sits on this joint. Um, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but you do get a side to side there. Rotation at the shoulder goes up to there on that joint. It is locked in here, so try and don't pull it past this point. It's as far as it'll go. It is tension, all tension joints here. Rotation at the bicep. You have a double joint elbow here. So there's a joint there and there. And that will get you almost the full bend, a little bit short, just to the sculpt. The wrist is on a rotation joint. It does, mine tends to move in and out, uh, just because this panel kind of comes undone. So there's a little bit of in and out movement here, but it's supposed to sort of sit straight. For the fingers, you have individually articulated at a single pin, but due to the fact that they're curled, can't really get a pointer finger, but you can get that around the trigger if there was a trigger, so I'll talk about that later. And then thumb is on a ball joint, so that gets down and out of the way. Coming down your rotation here at the waist. Ab crunch, it does lock in, and again, friction joint gets you all the way down to there, so that's a pretty big, deep ab crunch. And then it locks back in on his back. You have hip skirts all the way around. Legs go up to there, friction, back to there on friction, up to the side on friction. Rotation at the thigh around universal. You have a soft ratchet here at the knee that gets you basically one click, four, or two clicks back. It gets you 90 degrees. That's about the only ratchet on this figure. Is right there on the knee. You have a tilt here on the toe, which is attached to this heel piece. So it gets you over to there, back to there, forward on the toe, and then down on the toe. Now for his accessories, you get his blaster here. It's done in a black plastic, 
pretty sa pl plain and simple weapon. You can get this pegged in. I think it was very similar to the previous figure here from Ocular Max. But he'll hold that. And it's a good looking weapon. And you also get some alternate head sculpts here, but let me just show you the original. There it is. It is nicely painted and detailed. Now to remove this head, you're going to pop it off the ball joint. I found the easiest way that seems to do the least amount of stress is pulling it forward off of this ball joint right there. And then you can pop the new one on, just press it back on. And there is the kind of smiling or grimacing. Sort of an evil laughing face. And do that ball joint, that's why we get the side to side movement there. So you really get anything out of his head. There's a lot of movement on there. And there's the sort of yelling, angry face. Like that. That's probably the most expressive, but nice that they gave you the options here on the head. And for quick size comparisons, there it is next to Transform Element Optimus Prime. And the previous figure, the Medicus, or their version of First Aid. And looking to be a good team, here's a tiny bit shorter. But I like how they look together. And they scale well, of course, with the Masterpiece scale. All right, now let's get this guy transformed into his vehicle mode. And it is a relatively intuitive and fun transformation. I actually didn't even use the instructions or a video. I just took it out of the box and transformed it. I did watch Pigs for Life's video way back when he put it out because he got this figure a while ago. And that was enough for me to, you know, remember how to do it. But that just tells you this is a pretty fun and simple transformation. So let's start off with the chest here in the backpack so you can go ahead open up this panel right here I like to take this whole piece fold that down and come to the inside here and fold out these lights and that's going to come and tab back in to the top here like that go ahead and take these lights here and rotate 180 degrees and they just tab that again and sit like that from the front here this is going to fold inwards and store like that and we're going to rotate this whole chest 180 degrees and that's basically ready for the car mode we got a lot more work to do so come to the sides here we're going to lift up these arms on these panels come to the inside we're going to take this chest piece here or the back piece here and open that up these panels can come down and just store right here on the inside those are the parts that you had to fix out of the box these are going to fold inwards like that and then you're going to rotate the whole piece down until it comes to the other side and meets up with the roof or the hood so it looks like that that's kind of the front of the car obviously we're going to take the head and rotate this 180 degrees this is going to come down and sit flat so it's looking straight up and to the back and next we'll take care of the arms so go ahead and rotate this panel 180 degrees so it sits on the other side. Come to the inside, you're going to open up this panel here, fold down this little cover panel, pull this upwards, and open up your hands here, rotate your hand 180 degrees, and then fold this in, leaving the fingers open, because that leaves a little space for this panel to go in. So it should end up like that. Then this is going to come down and rotate the arm upwards. This is going to tab in, so there's a tab that receives this panel. That can tab in. And then there's a tab here that goes into here, onto the side of the body. So it should end up like that. So that's kind of one side, then we can do the other side. Same thing, I'll go a little faster this time. Rotate this, go to the inside, open up this panel, fold this down, slide this up, open the fingers, rotate the hand around. Fold this panel in, and then this panel sits between the fingers. Fold this down, tab it in here, and then tab it in on the top, and that makes the front of the car. Now we can bring this around, so this is going to fold all the way up, and then you can see there's two tabs right here, they're going to fit into the bottom of the hood. So bring this around, and then they're tabbing in on the front first. Tab those in, tab that hood in, and it should lock in place like that. This can come, actually leave this up for now because we want to do a little bit of storage 
in here. So I'll put this in last. Come to the back here, we're going to rotate the waist 180 degrees. Come to the inside of the legs, we're going to unpeg this panel here. It's actually tabbed in here into the back of the foot or the toe, and then these two panels are tabbing in here. This you can open up and straighten out, so it should be like this. Come to the inside of the leg, and open up this panel down here. It'll just fold out like that. Now you can take this door and fold that all the way around like this. Come to this foot, and that's going to rotate inwards like that. And then that's going to collapse down and just fit inside like this. And then this whole, door, this whole leg is going to rotate around on this panel here and end up on the other side. So make sure you have this open. Fold this all the way around. You can bring this door down. And it's going to sit like this. Bring this down and then push in and it should sit flat like that. This is going to come around and peg in on the inside here. There's actually a peg right there that's going back in to here. And then this is going to sit down and peg into here. So it should be nice and smooth like that. All right, so that's one side kind of done. I'm going to leave the doors for a second. So you need a little bit of wiggle room, so don't plug in the doors yet because you need to get these legs pegged together. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. I'll go a little bit faster. Open this up. Open that up. Open this up. That'll allow you to take this door, rotate all the way around. And I forgot to show you to rotate this rearview mirror, so we'll just do that now. Rotate the rearview mirror to the outside. Take the foot, rotate that in, rotate that piece in, make sure it tabs all the way in. Now we're ready to fold the foot all the way around, or the leg all the way around. And as you do that, this piece pops up, so that's you're just putting that back in after you get it. Get it around to the other side. All right, so push this down and in to make his rear spoiler. This should come all the way around. So if, if you don't see these lights lining up, that means you haven't rotated all the way. All right, so it should actually become come straight. All right. Bring this down into the inside. It's going to tab in down here and into the front. The second one can be a little bit trickier because, you know, there's less room, obviously. But get that all pegged in. This one should also peg in. It's pegging in back here as well. Now we can take this and squeeze it together. And before we put this roof panel in, open up here. This is going to fit in here. Now, I watched Pink for Life's video. He said it doesn't quite tab in or, like, lock in place. But if you take this gun... You put it up. You don't close the handle. It does actually close. But if you leave that open, you can plug that handle in right here underneath this panel. And it sticks out right here. So you see the barrel is sticking out right there. Then you can bring this down. And let me get this reconfigured. And it will actually stay in that little cavity. Right, so bring this down, bring this down, and tap it into the front. And now you can see that that gun is sort of locked in place there. It does move around a little bit. Now take these doors, tap it into the side of the arms. All the way. Same on this side. And make sure you're getting this tab into the side as you do that. Make sure you have the rear view mirrors folded out. Bring your door in. And there you have Navigant in his vehicle mode. And I really like how this turned out. There's a lot of details on here that I just didn't see in the robot mode, which is why I said it looked a little plain. But here, I think they did a great job. You got the silver on the headlights there, the silver here for the Nissan 300ZX logo, yellow for the fog lights, and then the reflectors here on the side are orange. Coming to the side, you have the painted silver wheels. The design of the wheel is perfect. That's exactly what it looked like. And the rubber tires here, it does roll nicely on those rubber tires. You got the pinstripe here along the side in black. Red reflector back here, the yellow star with the black outline. Nice painted silver with translucent red for the 
emergency lights. Painted door handle there, that looks really good. Coming to the back, the rear windows are all paint, so instead of having a translucent plastic like it is on the front, these, these, and these are all just painted black. The rear tail lights look really accurate to the Trans ZX with the red, orange, and silver, and then the white for the license plate, and then you got the exhaust pipe here. Underneath you got two exhausts here, so that looks good. Pretty clean on the bottom. And you have a rear windshield wiper right here. Actually, and you have it on the front molded in there. So some nice details on this vehicle mode. And you do get a couple features here, although I don't know if they're features, but you can open up the doors. It does look a little weird because the glass stays behind because it's part of this piece here. But you can do that. And you can see I have the gun stored there. It does kind of stay in place. If you put it in the way I showed you, it does sort of stay. It does move around a little bit. But when you open this cockpit back up, it will be in that same spot. So that seems to be the best way. And you can, of course, open either side. And uh, that's basically it for the features. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the MP10 Optimus Prime and the Masterpiece smokescreen here, which this guy is actually the vehicle mode is a predecessor or a successor to this guy. This is the Datsun 280, this is the 300Z. But I like how they scale almost perfectly. I mean, it's basically a very similar size. This one's a little bit thinner and a little bit shorter, but that really looks good to me. Uh, the scale just works perfectly for me. And for another comparison, there it is next to the X Transbots G2 version of Fuzz, their version of Streetwise. And I'm not actually planning to do a full versus here on these two guys. At the end of this video, I am going to do a small comparison so that you can kind of see them together. Um, but it wasn't my intention to do a, a versus. I don't have the G1 version anyways. But as far as vehicle is concerned, they both create the 300ZX representation pretty well. x Transbus has a lot of break up, more breakup in the lines and panels overall. Um, but it is fully painted. They both have those signature wheels. They both have the emergency lights. They both have the signature rear tail lights. So they do a pretty good job. They both have opening doors in the vehicle mode. Um, although for Ocular Max, the door doesn't have anything to reveal inside. Whereas on x Transbots, you have a seat and a steering wheel. So there's a little bit of an interior here on the x Transbots. So final recommendations on the Ocular Max Navigant. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. I'm going to recommend it. Now, me personally, I really like this, but I had to keep my personal feelings, especially about the vehicle mode, out of it because I love the way they did the vehicle mode. They nailed the look of 300ZX. But I don't, I don't think everybody's necessarily looking for that. I think that's something that I just have a personal, personal interest in. Now, the robot mode also looks really good. It's got great articulation, and overall, the design and engineering is very fun. But it's a little bit on the plain side. So I think if you're used to a premium look and feel, like from the companies like Fans Toys or X Transbots, where it's fully painted, then you might not like the look of this guy because it is a very plain gray plastic. And, you know, I know some people prefer that premium look. But I prefer the transformation engineering and the overall fun factor with this figure over the X-Transbots version. I think AK did a great job on the engineering of this guy. So that's really it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. All right, so if you've stuck around, that means you're interested in my thoughts on a versus here. I'm going to put up an image of the X-Transbots fuzz. So you can see them side by side. And then I'm also going to put up the score sheet here from my usual comparisons. And just go down the list really quick here and give you my thoughts. So as far as accessories, the x Transbots comes with four faces and a gun. Ocular Max comes with two faces and a gun. So x Transbots going to get accessories. Gimmicks-wise, they both have opening doors, but there's really nothing to see inside. They don't really do anything great. So I'm going to call them a tie on gimmicks. Accuracy, I'm going to give over to Ocular Max. I think they nail the look without any of the kibble and kind of things sticking out. I think it's overall cleaner, which is going to get them the sculpt point as well. So they'll get accuracy and sculpt. As far as paint, x is going to win that one pretty easily. They're fully painted, and uh, even though the paint 
Not necessarily my favorite color, but it is painted fully, so we're gonna give that to X-Transbots. Build quality, definitely gonna go to Ocular Max. This is a solid, fun figure. It doesn't shake, parts don't come apart. It feels like really good as you transform it. X-Transbots, not fun to transform. Articulation-wise, they're really close, but I'm gonna give it to Ocular Max. I think they have just a bit more in the feet and also in the app. So we're gonna give that to Ocular Max. Transformation, definitely going to go to Ocular Max. More fun, intuitive, engineering-wise as well. You got a really clean mode out of it. In both modes, it basically, it's just nothing, no parts sticking out. So they did a great job on that. Alt mode, I'm going to give them a tie. They both look really good in the alt mode. Let me put the images there so you can see. I think they both look just fine. And I do like the paint on the x transbots That does tend to make the vehicle mode stand out a little bit more. Um, but I also like the way the Oculomax comes together, so I'm going to give them a tie. As far as cost, they are exactly the same, $105 US retail for cost. And I didn't do a member's choice for this one, so I'm not going to count that. So it's going to come over to Oculomax on the Versus, which is why I didn't do a Versus, because I knew that's the way it was going to land. Um, the X-Transit one just, uh, just a little shy on, on terms of build quality, transformation, engineering. So that's it for this comparison. Hopefully that helped you decide what direction you want to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.